Hey guys, hey YouTube, check this out. Isn't this something like a model or like a K-pop idol will wear? It's kind of like cool, right? See this? But anyways, I just want to say hello to the armies and pay my respects and my appreciation. Thank you guys for the support and all the new subscribers and new armies. Getting all my last videos over 300 likes consistently, that's crazy to me. That's insane. Thank you guys so much for that. With that being said, let's continue the trend on this video. Let's try to get this video over 300 likes also. And remember, if you're new to my channel and you just subscribed, remember to hashtag hello army in the comments below so I can know. This question comes from Tykasia Brown. Jay, I have a question. Do you think it's bad for someone to not have dated throughout their entire high school career? I was wondering if that would actually hinder them from having a dating life. And yes, that someone is me, LOL. Hello? Why'd you, why'd you call? Don't worry, I don't need you this time. I got this one. Okay, all right, peace. I just want to say, Miss Brown, that there is nothing wrong with you. There's nothing that's going to be wrong with you. Having a dating life is overrated. People say that, you know, you should get into as many relationships as possible so you can know what you want from a guy or a girl. While that's also true, it's only one way to look at it. Let me tell you one reason why relationships fail. People get into relationships and don't know what they want. They get into a relationship thinking like, oh my God, this is gonna be the best thing ever. I'm in love with this person. And then they find out it's not what they wanted. Have you ever bought one of those crates or those mystery boxes or you know, use one of those Cracker Jack things in like the, the movie theaters or like at carnivals and it comes out with like a prize and you're like, oh my God, I want that prize. So you put your quarter in or you buy the box or whatever, you take it home, you get it. You're so happy and you open it. It's not what you want it. And you're just like, or during the holidays, when your parents or your friends get you a gift and you think like, oh my God, this is gonna be the thing that I want. And you open it and you get like a lame t-shirt and you're like, what is this? You know, you know what, just just, just give me back my gift. I don't, I, don't, I don't want this, give me back my gift, give me back my gift. And honestly, that's how a lot of relationships go. That's why there's so many breakups because people don't know what they want. So you not dating in high school might be a good thing. Before any of you get into a relationship, know who you are, know what you want and know where you wanna go. Then you can add the other person into your life. Then you know what you want in the other person in order for your life to proceed. The grass is always greener on the other side. You probably have a lot of friends or you see people that are in relationships and you're like, oh my God, they look so happy. Am I missing out on life? No, you're not. You're actually saving yourself a lot of problems, a lot of heartache. There are a lot of people out there who date continuously and still can't find a one. And in the end, they're so scared of getting hurt that they don't even want a relationship anymore. People get into relationships and they're like, oh, this is gonna be the best thing ever. And I can say that because I was one of them. I was in third grade and I got into a relationship. I was like, hey, you wanna go out with me? She was like, yeah, let's go out. I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. And then a week later, we broke up. I was in third grade. I thought Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh was life. Come on. Come on, like I didn't even know anything about myself. The only thing I knew was that I wanted to be the very best. That was completely crazy. And I'm glad I didn't get into a relationship anytime soon after that. So you shouldn't really worry about dating in high school. I mean like there are such things as high school sweethearts, but that's unlikely. That's like a 2% out of like the 100. So you not dating in high school saves you a lot of time and heartache. Now dating in college, that's a whole different thing. You know what I'm saying? Just get to know yourself first, feel comfortable with you, and then go find somebody. Don't do it just so you can change your Facebook status to I'm in a relationship or you know, so you can post cute selfies on Instagram or you could tweet about it. Don't, don't do it just because of that. I feel like a lot of us forget how precious our time is. Our time isn't unlimited. We have a limited amount of time. So use your time wisely, you know, don't stress about the little things. Make sure, you know, you're doing something that makes you happy in the end. And I know this video isn't that funny, but I just want to take time out to like really, really, you know, Point out what's important to, you know, you guys who are younger than me. So you don't have to make the same mistakes that I made. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave in the comments below any other questions that you might have or any other concerns that you might have. Leave them in the comments below. Hashtag hello army. Thank you guys for all the support and love. Thank you guys for always coming back. Thank you guys for sharing my videos. You guys are awesome. Until next time.